when you read a great book, it's like being friends with the characters and it's just like living the story. And that's where I've been the last few weeks. I've been in Yorkshire, England in the 1940s and I've been there with a veterinarian named James Harriet. I'm Susan Diamond of Prayables.com and my vlog today is called All Creatures Great and Small, James Harriet. All Creatures Great and Small is the first, first of a series of books, partly memoir and partly fiction, but totally delightful. How did he do it? James Alfred White, using the pen name of James Harriet, has turned out five books and each one reads like a prayer. Let's start with the titles. All Creatures Great and Small, All Things Bright and Beautiful, All Things Wise and Wonderful, The Lord God Made Them All and Every Living Thing. Besides the fact that number four actually has the word God in it, the titles of the books sound almost holy. And if I was a clever enough prayer maker, I would always write prayers using only three to five words. If prayers are the vehicle to bring you closer to God, then does it matter if you're in a Mini Cooper or if you're in a stretch limo? These book titles alone are enough to dispel the myth that prayer has to be long and boring. The next interesting thing about comparing Harriet's work to prayer is the fact that the books are written as vignettes. Every chapter tells its own story, and I find my prayer life is like that too. Every time I take time to pray, I'm telling God a story, my story at the moment, the past, or what I'm hoping will come. And if I'm very quiet, I can hear God telling me a story back. The Harriet books are about animals and people. If you're looking for a book on architecture and economics, look elsewhere. But when you're doing the kind of reading that really transports you, brick and mortar, paper and gold will not do the trick. Who can res resist the affection of a little puppy or the strength of a horse in motion? The way we relate to animals is just godly. And when our actions show compassion and when we appreciate the love we get in return. The other day I got an email from a Daily Prayable subscriber and she requested a, a change of address. And I forwarded it on to Webmaster Ed, my better half at Prayable's team. He's, um, and he said to me, oh, he was reading it. The opening line was, Dear Lovers of Christ. Well, Ed wrote back to me, playfully responding, Should I break it to him that we're not all Christians at Prayables? That I'm probably be classified as an animist and that we have real Jewish and Muslim people here too. Animist? Huh? For a founder of a multi-faith prayer community, I have a lot to learn. Luckily, there's Wikipedia. And I looked it up and it said that animism is a philosophical, religious, or spiritual belief that souls or spirits exist not only in humans, but in animals, plants, rocks, and other entities in the natural environment. What a perfectly beautiful concept. Apparently many of the world's religions hold that belief and it's also noted that children are animistic also. They'll tell you their teddy bear is tired and the TV is grouchy. And come to think of it, I have a very strong uh, evidence that my laptop has human qualities. It's stubborn, finicky, and it gets pissed off at me regularly. Well, I love that All Creatures Great and Small and the other James Harriet books give soul and spirit to its characters. It's a blessing to realize that the people and animals in the landscapes of mid-century Yorkshire as described in these books are an inspiration to me and the literary prayer that connects me to the divine. And now I'm going to do a prayer reading from prayables.com and it's called From Rags to Riches and it's a prayer for your pets. Seated on a lofty por perch, she held her Persian head high Thank you for allowing me to perceive the subtle dignity that elevated a homeless feline to the stature of royalty. Despite her humble surroundings, there is kindness present where animals are sheltered. Thank you for the compassion that changes circumstances forever. You have imprinted upon the human spirit the resilience to survive times of trouble. Thank you for reminding me 
that like our furry friends, with you we are never homeless. Thank you and tune in to Prayables.com for more blogs, vlogs, videos, and prayers. Prayables.com. Thank you.